In this video, I want to explain to you how to import CSV files into your Gamma model. This is very useful if you want to import matrices of data into your Gamma model. I created some uh, data right here in an Excel format. The first thing we want to do is to convert this into a CSV format. Uh, Gamma only considers the first uh, column of the CSV format. So we want to convert this data into one column. And we can do it like this. If you look right here, I combined the two columns into one column and I separate the values with a comma. So I want to make a comma separated CSV file. If I drag it down, I do the same for all the values. So now I can save this column into a new file and we're going to save this file into a CSV format. Now, one thing that you need to pay attention to is that the first row will not be read by gamma because it assumes that the first row is used for uh, some titles. So let's put some titles like uh, years, uh, comma values right here. So this is what gamma is assuming that your format looks like. And it only reads this column. So the rest of the columns should be empty. Doesn't do anything with it. If you put some values in there, I think it gives an error, so don't try to do it. So now we want to save it as a CSV file, comma separated. So choose the right format. And you want to save it into your gamma workspace. So I'm here in my gamma workspace. My project is called ABCD and I put it into the includes folder in my ABCD project so I can easily find it. We import the file by saving our file into a file attribute into Gamma. We can import the function by using the built-in function CSV file. And this function takes in two facets that should both be strings. So it looks like this. And the first facet should be your path to your file and the second facet should be the way your CSV file is formatted. And we have a comma separated format, so we put a comma right there. If you have a point separated format, you can use it like this. So let's indicate the path. We start with a double dot because this indicates that we start in our, uh, the same directory as we are saving this model into. I saved this model into my ABCD directory. So right now I'm in my ABCD directory. And from there I go to my includes. And then finally I state the name of my file, which is test csv.csv. But we cannot do anything with this file attribute yet because it is a format that we cannot use to extract numbers. So what I mostly do is I convert this file into a matrix using the matrix built-in function, which converts our file into a matrix. And this matrix will have the same uh, dimensions as your data. So in our case, it's nine uh, rows and two columns. Now, if we want to extract a specific column or a specific number or a specific row, let me show you how to do this. So first, how to extract one number. Row. So the first number, this one, states that it is the second column and the zero stands for the first row. Okay, so now let's extract a column or a row. We want to save it into a list. Uh, let's suppose we want to uh, save the first uh, column of our file. So using this column add function, we can extract a specific column from our matrix. You can use the same thing for row by just replacing column for row. But in this case, we just want the column to be extracted. If we want the second column to be extracted, we do the same thing. But let's suppose we want to import it like a float number. Then we put float right there. And right now we want to extract the second column. So I put a one right here. Okay. So now we want to check if we actually um, imported the right data. This is always very important, of course, if you want to check if you have done the correct thing. 
And the most easy way to do this is to use the write statement. Uh, the write statement just prints uh, values um, in, the, um, in the monitor, in the simulation modus. And I will define my write statements inside the initialization because it will directly write all my statements when I initialize my simulation. I can also visualize my data using uh, a chart that I have defined right here. Uh, first, inside the output, I define a display called test display of type Java 2D. I define a chart called yearly car sales of type histogram. And it asks me to define uh, the X values and the Y values of my histogram. So this should create a histogram with my values. So if we load the experiment, let's check if we have the correct values. A histogram right here with all the years that seem to be correct and the values on the y-axis called yearly car sales. And right here in the console we have our results for our write statements and they also seem to be correct. So this is how you import CSV files into your model. So that was it. I hope this video explained to you how you can use external data in your Gamma model. And if you want to know more about exporting data, please click on the video below.